Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just jumping straight into this little haul video. Got five new pickups. First one you see here is the blue J Crossover 3. To provide you with tech specs. Comes with the dust bag. This is the all blue pair. Really nice shoe overall. I tried it on. I went a full size down compared to a Nike size 12. I highly, highly recommend trying out brand black because they're so comfortable and they make great performance sneakers. This pair right here I got from ShoePalace.com. They also carry the all 3M pair, I believe, or was it the back panel? I don't remember, but these retail for $159.99 US. And this is a finish line exclusive. The black and red pair, really, really nice. Just cannot go wrong with black and red. And the bottom is translucent. You got the blue peeking through as well. Brand black logo on the bottom. Just to show you guys, the shroud is really thin. And that's what it looks like. It looks like a regular team shoe without the shroud, honestly. And it, so the shroud makes it really look unique. I'm definitely going to keep the shroud on while I'm playing basketball. But that's how you put it back on. Really simple. And also a really unique look with the shroud on. Next up is the Curry One Low Friends and Family. You guys probably already guessed it. Really clean model. Absolutely love the gold hits on this shoe. And um, I don't know why it's even called friends and family if it was widely available for everyone. I just, I'm just happy I got my hands on a pair. I really like how it looks. Definitely break these out for summer. Not sure if I'll break these out on court. Maybe one day just for fun. But uh, here they are. I still have my blue and yellow pair as well as the all-star pair and the high cut. Next up right here, my girlfriend showed up at my door with these in her hands. Early birthday present. I was absolutely stunned. This is a beautiful shoe, much more wearable in comparison to a yellow or a purple pair. And I love the Achilles detailing on the back heel as well. But it was absolutely a killer for me because in Canada over here, it's like $300 retail, including tax. I don't know. I felt a little guilty for her to get me such an expensive item. Next up, this pair I got from the Nike employee shop. This is the Nike Zoom Icon. Really similar to the Jordan 28 as well as the gloves. As you can see, um, it has the Kobe 6 out sole. I'm pretty sure you can use this for basketball performance. Because look, it's got this dynamic fit system going on on the inside. And um, the traction's obviously there. The cushioning's obviously there. And um, padding's really nice in the collar as well. And uh, you also got this reinforced toe box area at the front, so you don't like just fall off the footbed. And um, the only, my only concern right now is the mesh. Same concern with all wovens, knits, and meshes on court. But uh, overall, I'm pretty sure you can use this for basketball performance if you would like to. Uh, definitely grab these if you get a chance. I really like the look of them. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to do a review for all these shoes when I have some time. And uh, until next time, guys. Have a good one. Peace.